Today we're going to have a small look back on uh, all the things I kind of did at Cyprus. I'm going to kind of condense a collage of uh, video clips and uh, we'll do some photos at the end. I don't know. I figure I've got to do it. Some people may know, some, some of you guys might not even know yet, but Cyprus has decided to shut her down for some unspoken reason yet because I haven't I just haven't asked. I'm just like, okay, well, yeah, it's not the first time this has happened to me. So on like May 11th, uh, I think is when I got, it might have been the 10th. 10th or the 11th of May, I just get the phone call out of the blue from the boss. And he's just like, hello. I got some disheartening news. I'm like, oh man, my YouTube channel's got me in trouble again and I'm going to have to stop making videos. This is, Every time I get a phone call, this is what I'm thinking of every time. And then he's like, I've decided to shut her down. I'm like, what? Well, this isn't what I was expecting. Um, so yeah. And we, I spend the rest. He's like, well, I'm not going to brag about anything, but he's like, you're a hell of an employee. And I wish I had, you know, 10 of you, which I haven't heard that before. Right. You're the shittiest employee. And I hope you die. Everybody's always been like, you know what, Cooey? I wish I could have 10 of you. Um, so, we were shutting her down. We didn't get a really a notice of what's going on. And then uh, about a couple days later, they're like, yeah, the end of the month is uh, when, when we'll be shutting the doors completely. So I got half a month. I got to hang out and uh, do stuff. I've been fixing hoods. I've been doing this, doing that. Not really working that much, which kind of sucks. Um, and then we got to have everything has to be to the sale by the i think the 13th of next month so and then the following sale is on the 25 26 27th i do believe somewhere right in that period i might be off by a day so if you're looking yes if you're looking there's some stuff in there but everybody knows that also northwell is going to the sale as well so there will be a Shit ton of C500s if you're looking for one. Oh, we got Big Bird's nose off. And pull the cams. Just fucking yank on her. No, the lobes are so I sharp. know that. Are so, these are razor sharp. I rebuilt an engine once. Oh my god, I didn't see that. <laughs> Jesus grooves. That's at least 10 horsepower. Frank's beginning of life was a little rough. When we got him, he was pretty much in shambles. We found a few things here and there. Someone incorrectly torqued down the cam, so it was kind of gouged up on the one end. Uh, we fixed that, and I was hoping, I'm like, oh, this is going to be the answer. I'm going to get an extra... Like I was going to get 50 horsepower out of this fix or something, because it was a dog. Uh, later on down the road, we did get it tuned, so that was nice. And uh, it's better, but it mm, feels like about 500 horsepower, so it's still not that great. But it does its job well. It's a little worn around the edges. Um, haven't had any problems since we did this. Some of ours are easy to identify. 
identify Look me in the eye And ask for forgiveness We'll make a pact to never speak that word again Yes, you are my friend We all have something that digs at us At least we dig each other One thing that I really did appreciate about Cyprus is that um, when I left, well, I didn't leave Road Train. When Road Train closed its doors, I was like, I'm not going to go somewhere that only does one kind of work. So I honestly didn't even think about it. As soon as uh, we had a safety meeting at Road Train, and uh, I literally, by the time I shook hands with the owner there and literally walked out to my car and drove five minutes down the road and had a job at Cyprus. Didn't even really think it out, but I was like, these guys do other things. So they do a lot of rail work, which was kind of cool because it kind of took me places that I wouldn't go before. And I kind of enjoyed that. I like the journeys and it's nice to get out of Alberta, BC, Saskatchewan and go a little bit further. Uh, so I enjoyed that part about it. Here's a little look at some of the rail stuff. And 
tastes like Jack when I'm kissing him So I told him that I never really liked his friends Now he's gone and he's calling me a bitch again There's a guy that lives in a garden state And he told me that we make it till we graduate So I told him that the music will be worth the wait But he wants me in the kitchen when the dinner plate I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe that we're meant to be But jealousy, 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 jealousy get the best of me Look, I don't mean to frustrate But I always make the same mistakes, yeah I always make the same mistakes, cause I'm bad in love ooh, ooh. But you can't blame me for trying You know I'd be lying, saying You're the one ooh, ooh. That could finally fix me Looking at my history I'm bad in love Got a girl with California eyes And I thought that she could really be the one this time But I never got the chance to make a mind Because she fell in love with little thin white lines London girl with an attitude We never told no one but we look so cute Both got way better things to do But I always think about it when I'm riding through I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe That I'm in too deep and Jealousy, 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 jealousy Get the best in me Look, I don't mean to frustrate But I always make the same mistakes, yeah Always make the same mistakes, cause I'm bad in love ooh, ooh. But you can't blame me for trying You know I'd be lying, saying Boy, the one ooh, ooh. That could finally fix me Looking at my history I'm bad people were kind of angry at the way I kind of just blurted out during a short video that I was just coming in on another normal day at work. I was like, man, well, I got to do something cool. I want to, I had this vision in my head of Eye of the Tagger and I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to do something. And this is, I was hauling rails and I'm like, well, I'm not making a video about hauling rails, which I should have because I needed the content, but I'm just like, you know what, I'm tired of it and it's boring and I'm just like, I want to do something else that's cool and I just kept having this vision of Eye of the Tiger in my head and this is before I got the phone call, so I came in all pumped up, I'm like, yeah, right on, let's do it, this, this and that and that, I have all these things going through my head of what I'm going to do to kind of uh, compile this and then right, right in the middle of I'm doing it. I get the phone call. Hello? Needless to say, you know, anybody that gets this kind of news just kind of took the wind out of my sail probably for the rest of the week. And uh, I'm, I'm still kind of stressed out about the whole situation. So uh, I just kind of <laughs> kaputted what I was doing there and I didn't really have any other way uh, to really do it. So I was in the middle of editing this video eventually and I'm just like, you know what? I'm just gonna, cause I was getting calls and people are like, messaging me and stuff on wherever facebook youtube and it's just like is it true is it true and i'm just like you know i'm just gonna nail it right here boom and then everybody will know well not everybody because i know not everybody watches the shorts so here it is again <laughs>
sad news. We're dissolving Cypress as a company, effective immediately, and everything will be going to the sale over the next 30 days. Bring. We're closing the doors. Everything's going to the sale. They're like, oh, how distasteful. Well, at the time, I didn't have time. Well, I'm lying. I had time. I didn't have everything put together. You know, it takes. I'll probably spend half the day on this video just putting it together. And then another half a day, like, editing it, picking the music. Um, some people said that it was kind of distasteful on how I said it in a short video. Well, first off, it was coming. Hold your horses. Um, I didn't know how I was going to put it together. And I probably spent, like, two weeks just being bummed out. Big time for inviting me. <laughs> Who washed the dance, huh? Huh? call this one the sprinkler trying to figure out what i was going to do i kind of went on a whole bunch of interviews and stuff and i had all these questions in my head i'm like youtube channel cool content where am i going to work what am i going to do so yeah i know it wasn't the greatest way to say it off the hop and i probably agree with you 50 percent but i have phone calls before i even got home that day so like news spread pretty quick so i kind of felt like i needed to say something to the rest of the channel or the people that, you know, they're not in Alberta, they're not gonna hear the news or they're not in another company like ours that heard the news.
I'd like to have Mark. See, the hardest thing for me was leaving the life. Didn't matter. Didn't mean anything. When I was broke, I would go out and rob some more. We ran everything. We paid off cops. We paid off lawyers. We paid off judges. Everybody had their hands out. Everything was for the taking. And now it's all over. Never you fear, subscribers. There's a bunch of videos. Don't lose any sleep over it. I'm doing that enough for everyone. So uh, don't worry. I got a bunch of videos that are going to fill a gap till, well, the new job will fill in. I got a little bit of buffer. I got some some time to breathe, make decisions, do what I want to do. So never, don't, the channel's not just going to be like, dead end. Like always, thanks for watching. And remember, take photos and take nothing. Leave nothing behind but footprints. Is that right? As always, take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints, and I'll catch you on the next one. Fuck! Brunch time. Uma ameaça foi detectada. Uma ameaça foi detectada.